What's going on guys, your boy Rush and I'm back with a brand new video and we're on the third installment of misogynistic podcasts and uh, yeah, we're just going to watch some clips like we did last video, or the last two and just to talk about it. Last time I focused on like fit and fresh specifically and now I'm going to do like the whatever podcast uh, and then next time we'll do some other stuff. First things first, I just want to say thanks for 250 subs. Thank you. It's a cool milestone. Wanted to hit that by like mid of this year. Uh, and I was able to do that um, before that, which was awesome. Um, so thank you to anyone who subscribed. Okay, thank you to anyone who subscribed to me. I greatly appreciate it. So I just wanted to say the reason why I look at shorts because it's easier to watch and just talk about rather than just looking at uh, full on clips. Full on clips can range between anywhere between five to 15 minutes. And um, I don't want to cut those clips in sh any shorter than what they are already because I don't want to take things out of context. I don't want people to be like, oh, you got out of context. That's why you're making it look bad. I don't want any of that. I just want to take what they post um, and go from there. Um, if I were to do these individual clips, I'd probably end up doing like one or two clips uh, throughout a video. Whereas with this, I can do like four or five uh, podcast because like I need to also discuss my view in addition to watching the clips so the clips are like a minute long and I talk for about two to three minutes but I try to you know shorten my speaking so that way I don't um, take up too much of the time just rambling on Okay, uh, that was okay. I'm not even, there's not much to say here. There's just a shitty relationship. She moved out, he helped her move out, whatever, it doesn't matter. She suspected she, he cheated, he admitted that he cheated, and she was also cheating um, either before or during, whatever. So, regardless of the fact they cheated on each other, she didn't know whether or not they were together. So, obviously, there's a clearly a terrible communication within the relationship. There's not much to say about this clip. It's just a horrible relationship. Um, I don't know if that was. If they're still together, obviously, I don't know, but like, yeah, that was, that was horrible. What the fuck? My occupation is a certified bad bitch. And certified bad, bad bitch? Or boss bitch? I... Very much baddie vibes. Baddie, like, what? I'm baddie. <laughs> no brakes. What? So, very much what does that, what does that mean? Can you explain that? It's just a lifestyle. There was a dictionary and you were hired by Webster's to define certified bad bitch, is that what it is? Yeah. What would be the dictionary definition of a certified bad bitch? I would have to say, I mean, it's just like honing it down completely. It's just a woman who's confident in herself, does whatever she wants for herself, nobody else. It's woman, whatever, men, whatever, anybody can be a certified bad bitch. Is that just, the, is it's just, I think it's just a level of confidence in its own mindset. My uh, fuck. Look, there's one thing to be confident, and I think it's really important to be confident. I think it's a really good thing. It's because this is how you carry yourself. I think it's very, very important. However, this is horrendous. Just because this is her personality. This is how she portrays herself in her social media and the social world. Uh, you may have probably seen clips of her uh, go viral here and there, and it's just people with this notion and this belief that just because they're a certified bad bitch that like the world should be given to them and i think that's just the problem uh given the situation and like my occupation is a certified bad bitch is like man like you're popular for being cringy not popular for being a bad bitch but that's how i view it uh there's nothing really to, to say about 
this being uh, like the guy wasn't rude or anything about it. He was, and I'd say like there's nothing like uh, misogynistic about this, obviously. But like, man, I just it's it's hard to see clips like these and people really believe that this is. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's. I think a lot of us would be on the same page. Like, I don't care who this person is. Um, just this notion of like, oh, I'm a certified bad bitch, and this is my lifestyle. Deal with it. Like, it's, like I said, it's cool to be confident, but this is just outrageous. So if I'm if I'm gonna try to like understand this, let's, let's he's saying that can homos like a, a biologically male biologically male if they two sleep together is that gay? Obviously, like that's what we know to be gay. Now they're giving they're talking about the idea of like trans women. I'm sure that's what the topic of the conversation is. And if um, if if uh, a, a biological male were to sleep with a trans woman, meaning if I understand it properly. Uh, a biological male believing that they're male um sorry a biological male believing that they're female and or transitioning to female um he's trying to like justify that as still being biological male sleeping with a biological male which i guess biologically speaking yes that's kind of true um however uh you know the person does believe that they are female and if they're transitioning He's trying to get at, is that still considered gay? I don't know how to answer this personally. I just, I have no idea. Um, I don't know what kind of point he's trying to make. If it's, if it's simply just to make the point whether or not it's gay. Uh, I don't see the big deal of it. It's whatever. But uh, like, I just don't know. I don't have an answer for it. Like, I really don't know if it would be considered to be gay or if it'd be considered to be straight. I mean, as far as bio biology goes, then yeah, sure. You could see it being gay. But like, if the person believes them, themselves to be female and if the person that they're sleeping with also views them as female then you could argue that it, yeah sure i i see it as a straight relationship rather than a homosexual one so i i just i just don't know i don't know I'm personally i don't know how to answer it. like i wouldn't know how to go about it but that's my only two things if you want to look at it biologically then yeah it's homosexual but if you don't then um then it's then it technically be like heterosexual so this is really how you want to view it, I guess. I want to see a man try and buy and also court against women used to be courted by men. Now they slide up on your pictures and they're just wearing like um, no, you're not. I mean courtship is reserved for ladies. Yeah. For gentlemen and ladies. Most women today are not ladies. A lot of women have slept with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people. They're dating multiple people at the same time. You don't get courtship if you're not a traditional woman. So I had to look up what courted meant. Uh, it's just another way of saying chivalry um, or just like dating someone with the intent of marrying. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think like usually that's how I try to go about relationships at least. Like if I'm trying to have a meaningful relationship, it's like the idea to be married at some point. Um, so, and she's saying like, oh, I want to see guys like try for this. And then the, the, the other guy, Brian, he was suggesting that like, you need to be a lady for that. Like to really prove yourself to be worthy of, you know, uh, being wanted to be married uh too and and he was saying that like women do sleep with like multiple people i'm not gonna like say the numbers but like he said sleep with multiple people so it doesn't really prove that they're worth marrying which again i just goes back to my notion of like whoever you sleep with or how many people you sleep with shouldn't dictate whether or not you're worthy of being married to uh i just think that if you can commit to one another at the end of the day and, and love each other and care for each other then of course you're you should be worthy of marrying and i think the chivalrous behavior to another being whether it's male or female um should depend on how much you care about that person and how 
oh yeah i think well big the big thing is how much you care about that person because you're not just going to be chivalrous to just every single person um because that could be exhausting especially if it's not reciprocated back to you in any sort of way uh and if you do it to someone that you care about then they deserve it and that's how it should be so but it's like that kind of goes with the whole relationship building to get to the point of wanting to be married and i guess like i guess I guess her notion too is like guys now just like slide in the DMs and that's just like their way of getting in. It's like whatever. I I just think that the dating realm is very difficult uh, now. It's very different from how it was in the past. Um, is this chivalry just doesn't get you anywhere? I don't think. It feels like there's this constant chase game that happens where you just gotta lead the person on. There is no chivalry that needs to persist continuously and then you just kind of get the girl like at some kind of romance movie i don't think that works anymore i think it's kind of bogus i feel like those behaviors work when you're in the relationship because they're acts of romance but in the relationship because you're already like it's something already like it's a relationship already but and i think it only works and it's only good when it's like when both parties like each other but as like say for example as a guy that's trying to get a girl to like you i don't think that works if she likes you then it'll work but if she's not into you then it's not gonna work Look, when it comes to this, especially the LGBTQ community, and when it comes to that community and religion, it's very hard for them to find a common ground because a lot of the views in religion doesn't align with the LGBTQ community. It just it just doesn't work. Um, you know, I've, I I know people who are religious, and they, they they say that this like it just can't like mesh in the sense of like there's certain things that they can't be a part of in their religion because of that. Like people who are religious. Um, they have their set views already they're very traditional in the sense that men and women only um if you're gonna have offspring it can only be between men and women like it's very very straightforward it's that's it there's no gray area it's black and white men and women only that's it anything in between uh, and and whatever like homosexual relationships anything with the lgbtq community to like involve them pretty much has no value in religious beliefs at all uh, and they don't have much input you can you know be a part of a certain religion but you can't be doing certain things within that religion because of uh, if you align yourself with the lgbtq community like it's so hard to try and like find a common ground between any religious group and the lgbtq community there there will never be that common ground this is why a lot of people in the east will shit on the west for being so liberal and the east being so traditional right it's just not um because they're like oh you guys allow so much going on everyone's just everything now it's like blah 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 uh, talking about the west whereas the east is still very traditional with, like islam and the christians there's like really hardcore christians out in africa or like in china or whatever just like in other countries whereas here in north america we're definitely a little bit more progressive in that sense where it's like it doesn't really matter who you are as long as you treat people with respect you can be with whoever like that's kind of what we're trying to push for um but religion and the lgbtq community will never find a common ground uh for as long as i can think of like just because of how um the bible or whatever or the quran just kind of lays itself out um the word of god is only men and women can be together it's just the only way you can go about it there's no ifs what's and maybes and buts or whatever uh so it's it's definitely a tough conversation uh, to have between the two groups it's just it's just not it and If you're afraid to talk to a girl because she feels like 
confident or like dominating or whatever then you're just i feel like at that point either not as confident or you feel insecure at some level or you're intimidated which is fine but it's i don't think it's that big of a deal i don't think that's like you should take it that deeply like there are girls that come off as intimidating but you go up, up to talk up to them talk to them like a normal human being even on a friendly level not like you're trying to like sleep with them uh you can have a pretty solid conversation they tend to be a lot cooler than you think and it's not as deep as you may think of it i don't know Okay, uh, I completely disagree with this. Um, this is definitely not a consequence of any kind. Unintended consequence, he calls it. Um, I think, like, because like, he's like, oh, guys don't have a purpose now because they can't be providers because women have jobs, blah, 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 blah. Listen, um, it's still very important that as a male that you are able to provide, not just for yourself, but also for your partner if you do, even if she can provide for herself. But the idea that you can both help each other and provide for one another is the key aspect. And because of how expensive things are in these days, especially in North America, having that dual income in a family is very, very important. So the more you make, the better you'll shine for sure um, but also that means that it's more it's less about how much you can provide but how great of a person you are as well um, obviously personality isn't everything as much as people want to believe because physical is a big thing too but um, obviously it means that uh, it's not about how much you can provide but like how great of a person as a partner is supportive uh, and you know helpful on a deeper and more intimate level you are as well because if she can provide for herself then that's not a worry for her it's more like how compatible are you as a partner for her um, whether she's gonna have kids with you or not or be with you for the rest of her life so it's definitely more to it because a lot of guys are like oh I can provide but that also means I can be a piece of shit within the relationship because now she re solely relies on me so that's why I can do what I want in the relationship so it doesn't really matter now that if oh that's taken away from guys all of a sudden and that's like a way of saying oh that's taking away my power now that I can't be as dominating whatever because she can provide for herself it's like no nah, like if if providing was your source of power then you've got it all wrong um providing should just be one of the very few aspects as to why you guys are together but yeah I mean, I feel like all those questions could be asked towards a guy that is dressed like a guy. Like, for example, like, what if um, I believe that I was a woman, but then I still choose to dress like a guy, present myself as a guy, whatever. I know biologically I am a male, but what if I, like, my mind says I'm female, but I'm pushing myself to be a male so that way I could fit my societal norm, right? Like, I could just be said the exact same way in reverse. It doesn't really matter. So I, I'd say his argument's kind of, like, false in that sense. Um... I actually had the same conversation actually with one of my friends, he's uh, co-workers, he's a uh, Mormon and I talked to him about it and I was like, if God created people with the notion that we're all perfect, why is it that, um, you know, people may have these ideas and thoughts of like, they may not be um, who they bi biologically were, like if that's how God intended it, like was that not a part of his plan? I can't remember how the conversation went and he's like, it, a lot of it could a lot to do with like temptations and and whatnot and this the idea of like altering your body from what god has created um then uh obviously this is like kind of against this why like a lot of religious people are not allowed to get tattoos either because it's just uh 
It's just changing what God has created uh, and that what he's created is already perfect in itself. So changing that in any form is not good. So that's why changing your biological form into something else is against God's will. Getting tattoos against God's will. It's like we, There is this notion that God is perfect and God makes things within a reason and whatever. And, and then obviously his point is that he create like, did you create trans people? I mean, like, regardless of whatever it is, even if they chose to do all these things, um, or what, it, like, whether you believe that they have a choice or they don't, their mindset was created, like, arguably by God. So, whether they chose to or not, it was still created by God. So, those choices were di di like dictated by God. So, should that still be, um, demonized you know for those, their behaviors because in theory it's god creates human uh, perfect beings so that shouldn't be such a bad thing to be trans because this is god's will for that individual and if they choose to be something else rather than but like that's how they were then it's still like under god's creation so that's the thing that's the thing i don't like about religion because there's so many loopholes and there's so many flaws i can't fuck with religion never i can fuck with religion i respect whoever and anyone who who is religious like i don't care but i don't fuck with religion for that specific reason just because there's so many plot holes and plot holes uh loopholes and things that just don't make sense and a lot of hypocrisy with those who believe religion i just not for me man all right that's everything i have to say for this video that was a lot i think i'm recording an hour in i'm probably just gonna have like 20 minutes of this tops uh saved i'm um, just gonna be a lot of this i'm just gonna cut out because a lot of it was just fucking bogus um but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video if you guys enjoyed this make sure to like this video comment down below what your thoughts and opinions of what i've said here if you disagree with me please comment down below i would, it's good for the sake of the conversation maybe i'll respond to some of the questions or like even th the comments in my next video i appreciate anyone who gives any sort of feedback it's really good and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video and yeah do subscribe bye